Hey gang, Joyce with Skipping Calves Farms here. My next chore this morning is to tighten my fence. Um, uh, a few weeks back we had um, some pretty good storm fronts come through. I had a big branch. It was actually up here in the corner. Um, this camera doesn't like light and shade all that great. But that big black oak in near the corner and then the white oak where I've actually got the corner, that branch came down in between those two. And I'm not sure which of those trees it came out of, but the trunk of that black oak's almost 36 inches across. So um, that branch was a good 8, 12 inches across. And you can see as I pan in front of me, how waffly or wiggly that uh, top, especially the top two wires look. I'll use this description. That wire does not look like raw spaghetti. It looks like cooked spaghetti. Raw spaghetti is straight. Cooked spaghetti has wiggles. <laughs> okay, let me come back here. Um, I tested the power in my fence this morning. Uh, which is always a good idea. Um, if you hear it popping, you know it's getting some power. And um, my little charger, um, I think it's only a two or three joule charger, but there again, it's only um, covering a five wire fence over a couple, three, eight, couple acres. Um, but it is charging all of my fencing, even all the internal fencing. Um, behind us uh, all that fencing around the garden and the other fences um, so it's putting out between seven and a half and eight thousand volts this morning and it's got a bit of growth on it um, and you can see I'll just zoom in here real close you can see that brown spot underneath that daisy wheel where that grass is growing up and getting zapped and that um you know zap every second kills the sap it cooks the sap and that's what keeps the growth from overwhelming the fence so um if any of the rest of you are kind of uh, new beast of fencing. I'm going to reach down, so let me, let me zoom out a little bit. Let me pan out while I reach down and grab my tool. I, I forget which website I got this tool on, but uh, they vary in price from about um, when I got it a while, or I guess about a year or so ago. I think I paid $10 or less for it. And th some websites will charge you as much as $30, $35 for basically the same thing. And it's a nice little tool. You could do the same thing with a socket set. I think that's a, I think that's a half inch drill. The nice thing about this handle, and um, I'm going to try and do this with one hand, gang, but I'm not going to make any promises. So you just take the socket and you fit it inside that space and then you turn it and this handle at this end see that little knobby on the end you can turn that and when it comes up parallel with the fence here you just hook it now there's no way i'm going to be able to do this with one hand because i need both hands because i have to pull that u-shaped wire out in order to tighten um and I'm not going to get it super tight, but um, this is what I'm kind of looking for. Now, if you'll notice, I'm just going to kind of hit that fence and see how it just kind of wobbles and real a big swing. And the same thing is true here with the second one. Now, that branch came down to this third wire. And, but you can see how it bounces real fast. It's a lot tighter. 
And the same thing is true with the one here. And the same thing is true with the one on the ground. Now I'll probably tighten all of those a little bit. But these top two need to be tightened because they look loose. And um, I have um, something that's very near and dear to me now that I'm responsible for. And that's my mowing crew. Um, these guys, I've got to be able to protect those guys from predators. And the biggest predators around here are either stray dogs or people who don't contain their animals um, and coyotes. Personally, I've had more problems with dogs than coyotes. Um, but these guys, um, I've got plans for these guys and, and, and going forward. So I want to make sure I take as good care of them as I can. And so, this cooked spaghetti is going to go from a 12-minute noodle to about a 5-minute noodle here in just a minute. I'm going to try and pause the video and see if I can come back in. Um, if not, I'm going to apologize ahead of time. I'm going to wish you blessings for the day and <laughs> just keep chasing the dream. Okay, gang. Um, just to kind of give you a little update and um, context. Remember when we tapped this top wire, it just whoom, 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 oscillated very big. Let me zoom out. I didn't realize it was zoomed in. Now I tightened it, but I didn't tighten it completely because I've got three different daisy wheels around the perimeter of this fence. This is the daisy wheel for this long run here. And this is the wheel that is closest to the damage. But I'm also going to want to tighten it around the uh, rest of the perimeter. So this top uh, wire is still, the top two wires are still not 100%, but you'll still be able to notice if I tap that. See how it bounces a lot faster than it did before? Before it was going like this. Um, and now it's bouncing a lot faster. And the same thing is true here with the second one. Now on the lower three, I did tighten. I did tighten this one. You see how fast that bounces? Now the bottom one, I've not tightened yet. And see how that bounces slower? Those two I'm going to tighten some more. Um... But I may not do it here. I may do it on the other side. So anyway, gang, that's my chore for now. Um, I love doing these videos, but it can get frustrating because while I'm sharing and teaching and enjoying um, the morning and sharing it with you, I'm not able to get my chores finished. So with that, I'm going to say... Um, Welcome to my world. Welcome to the job. Welcome to the office building. Welcome to the office. I already introduced you to my co-workers. Some of them are over there in the chicken tractor. Some of them are over here on a permanent coffee slash lunch break. Life is good, gang. Um, I never would have believed I'd enjoy work so hard um, and deal with so much, um, so much chaos that nature throws at you and have an absolute blast doing it. By the end of the day, sometimes I'm whooped. <laughs> sometimes you can tell if I did a video late in the day just by the sound of my voice, but... Um, I tell you what, there is nothing like doing what you need to be doing. Um, and um, with that, I will get back to the rest of this chore. If you like, if you like what you're hearing, if you like what you're learning, 
well then feel free to subscribe and like. If you don't, and you have some other ideas, please feel free to share them with me, because um, there's no point in sharing information that you can't use. Um, it's just information that seems to me that if I were me, I'd like to know. And so that's my main determining factor. What are the chores I'm doing? What am I trying to accomplish? Where am I at now? Where do I plan to be? And what is information that's going to help somebody else do it better, faster, cheaper, more efficiently than I'm able to do it now? So with that, gang, I wish you blessings for the day. And whatever you do, keep chasing the dream.